This is a demo of checking out an open source project from SourceForge with Subversion. We will be getting our code from SourceForge. This is a website that hosts shared projects and code. The project I will be checking out is called XPS to IMG. The code in this project converts Microsoft's XML paper specification documents to image files such as PNG or JPEG. You can browse for this project or search. On many SourceForge project pages, there is a code tab. On the code tab are instructions for how to download or check out the project. We will be checking out code using Subversion from the command line. On the code tab of the project site, the developers recommend using this command line. Here is how that command line breaks down. SBN is the command line executable for the Subversion client. Checkout means you are downloading a version of their project. In addition to the code files, you will get the .svn directories, which enable you to see differences between your files and the server files if either one should change. SVN is the network protocol used to download the files. You may also see HTTP or HTTPS for other projects. This chunk is the internal structure of SourceForge and the project. It is irrelevant, just copy it. Trunk. You will almost always be checking out trunk. Trunk means the latest version of the main project. XPS to IMG dash code will be the name of the directory on your local computer containing the project you are checking out. This is relative to where you ran the SVN command. You can change this value to anything you like for the name of your local directory. Changing this value will not change what files are checked out. Let's check out the code. When checking out, you should see code files, for instance, c -sharp files. You may also see library files that this project references, such as DLL files. You might also see resource files like PNGs, ICOs, and JPEGs used for graphics and user interfaces. You may also see help files. The project developers can put anything they feel is related to the project here. For .NET projects, it is common to check in the Visual Studio solution file so that whoever checks out the code gets the same configuration as the original developer. The checkout is finished. Since this is a .NET project and it did include a Visual Studio solution file, you can open the project by double-clicking the .sln file if you have Visual Studio installed. 